Today we're going to look at the lighting upgrades from KC Highlights for the Jeep JK. Here in just a minute, I'm going to take these out into the garage and shut all the lights off. And I've got a lux meter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say this beforehand. I don't know how accurate this lux meter is. It's just a kind of like a cheapy Amazon special. But uh, I figured I would give each of these a shot to see how bright they are with that meter. As I said, these are all from KC Highlights, except for the two factory ones. These are the OEM headlights. And these are the OEM fog lights. Well, headlight wise from KC Highlights, you have three different choices of headlights. Their first offering was this here that was just sold as the KC Highlights LED headlight. Really good light. That's actually currently what we're running on Project Dirty Willy. And then you step up to the gravity LED headlight. These have the anti-flicker built into the headlight itself. And then their top of the line is the KC Highlights Gravity Pro LED headlight. Again, it's got the anti-flicker built into it. I mean, as you can tell, that's a pretty substantial headlight. And it is an aluminum casing. Same thing with the regular gravity. This has this big ball projector here, and then six LEDs on the outside. So your low beam is the projector, and your high beam is the six outer LEDs. As for the Gravity series, it's got four LEDs, uh, kind of in an X pattern on here. You can tell there's a big difference between the Gravity and the Gravity Pro. You may notice on... Uh, the Gravity Pro and the original KC LED highlights is how thick this rim is right here. I guess you would call it your, your headlight ring attaches here to hold your headlight in. And then you have this much that sticks out. If you notice, you don't have that on the factory. The ring goes right here. So on the regular Gravity series headlight, it's just like that. It's right against it. It doesn't actually stick out, so it recesses it back, similar to the factory light. It just doesn't bubble out like the factory. And this is the fog light that KC Highlights offer. I believe this is the KC Highlights, uh, I want to say Gravity G4. So now what we're going to do is take all of these out in the garage, shut the lights off, and uh, get some lux readings on these. Okay, so this is going to be the setup for testing the lights. As you can see, I've got the garage door framed in here for this camera. I've got a little GoPro camera over here that is facing the digital lux meter. So you'll be able to see the readout on that. I'll put that down in the lower corner of the screen. This lux meter has a separate sensor, so you can have it away from the actual meter. And I've got it taped up here onto the garage door. And like I said, this little GoPro is going to be facing at that. And then from the sensor, I measured all the way back over here to where I'm going to be holding the lights because I've rigged it up to where I can just kind of hold the light and move it around is 16 feet. So all of these readings are going to be times 10. So whenever, whatever you see on the screen will be times 10. But enough about that. We're going to get started on testing these lights. Okay, this is the factory low beam. Remember that the readings you see on the meter are times 10. And I'm moving the light around to uh, try to get the brightest reading I can from each light. And this is the low beam. Let's switch it over to the high beam.
Okay, this is the low beam on the KC Highlights LED headlight, the uh, KC slash Peterson manufacturing light. I'm trying to hold it as still as I can, but it's kind of hard. Now let's try the high beam. This is the KC Gravity. Now let's try the high beam. This is the Gravity Pro, the low beam. And this is the high beam. This is the factory fog light. And this is the KC Highlights Gravity G4 fog light. Okay, well, that's all of the lights. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I couldn't really see the readings on all of them. I'll be able to see them in editing. So you'll be able to see which ones had the highest lux. Again, the lux readings that you saw are going to be times 10. So you have to take that number times 10. And I was 16 feet away from it. And uh, these are the two new KC Highlights headlights. This is the Gravity Pro. And this one is just the Gravity series. Um, I'm going to put these in the Jeep and test those out. Uh, because I've, I've already had these in the Jeep, I've had the other ones in the Jeep, and I've tested all of those, and so I'm going to try these out and see how they do.